Here is a list of the things you will need for your project. Your selected heating tape. Pressure sensitive and heat resistant tape, such as fiberglass or aluminum. Cloth rags. A tape measure. Gloves. Safety glasses. And a temperature controlling device. Some models may come equipped with a controller from the manufacturer. Step 1. Preparation. Begin by preparing the surface to be heated. Wipe the surface making sure there is no foreign material such as liquid on the object. Foreign material inhibits heat transfer and liquid can damage select models of heating tapes. Make a visual inspection of heating tape. We recommend that you replace the heating tape if it becomes torn or damaged due to safety hazards and operational inefficiencies. Step 2. Installing your heating tape. Heating tape can be installed on nearly any surface due to its flexibility. First, attach the heating tape to the surface by either using the built-in tie-downs, high-temperature adhesive tape, or a mechanical clamping device that will not cause damage to the heating tape. Spiral wrap the heating tape onto the surface that will be heated. Make sure the length of one entire side of the heating tape is in full contact with the surface. The distance between spiral wraps is dependent on the uniformity requirements and the amount of available heating tape. A minimum distance of 1 8 inch is required between spiral wraps to avoid damage to the heating tape. Ensure the heating tape is not kinked, twisted, overlapped on itself, or hanging free from the surface on which it will be heating. Step 3. Connecting your heating tape to a temperature control device. Your heating tape must be connected to an external temperature control device to prevent the product from overheating and burning out. For proper heat control, secure a thermocouple, RTD, or other temperature sensing device with one strip of adhesive tape. Turn on your controller to the desired temperature and begin heating your application. Keep in mind, you'll want to always remember to examine your heating tape often to extend the longevity of your product. Here is a quick tip. You may want to use high temperature rated insulation that meets your application requirements, such as a moisture resistant insulator or fiberglass, to reduce heat loss and increase efficiency. If you think you will need additional assistance or are not comfortable installing the heating tape after viewing this video, contact our application specialists to answer any questions you may have.